Okay, so Pluto, the little guy that used to be a planet, is super far away. Even though it's not a real planet anymore, some scientists like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku still find it interesting. They think Pluto might crash into Neptune. Now, that sounds pretty wild. Is it just a crazy idea? Or could it really happen? Pluto got demoted because its orbit is weird. But that's kept it in the news in the astronomy world. These science guys are saying Pluto's path crosses Neptune's, which is a bit scary especially because they're pretty close to each other. So, could they actually hit each other? And what would happen if they did? Pluto takes 248 years to go around the sun. We found it in 1930, and it hasn't even made a full trip yet. And it doesn't go in a circle like the other planets. It goes in an oval. Plus, it's tilted way more than the others. Here's the crazy part. For about 20 years of its trip, Pluto is closer to the sun than Neptune. It's strange positioning and begs the question as to why Pluto and Neptune has not yet crashed. The other planets keep them apart. After people found Pluto, they noticed its orbit was strange. It's tilted a lot, and it's shaped like an egg. Since Pluto's discovery, Neptune has still not crashed into it due to the gravity of other objects. It can be hard to figure out where Pluto is going, because tiny changes can send it off course. But so far, it's been pretty steady. Big planets like Jupiter help keep it in check. These forces are key in keeping the solar system orderly. Predicting where things will be in space is tough, mainly those with weird orbits. Even though computer models are helpful, they can't tell us everything for sure. So, when Tyson and Kaku say Pluto might hit Neptune, people listen. If they did crash, it would be a big deal. Pluto would probably break apart and the pieces could be dangerous for other planets, even Earth. Neptune's air and orbit could get messed up too, which is catastrophic. Michio Kaku studies stuff like string theory and space. He thinks if we learn about Pluto's orbit, it could help us plan space trips and defend against things that are floating around outer space. By examining the gravitational interactions that shape Pluto's orbit, we can gain essential knowledge for future space missions. What we learn from Pluto could also help us with other dwarf planets. Pluto's orbit shows us that space is wilder than we think, and it's super valuable for the other planets within our solar system. If Pluto and Neptune crashed, it would be huge for space science. It could even help us test ideas about string theory, which is exploring the beginning of the universe. It would be a chance to study what happens when things collide with a lot of energy, which is something string theory tries to explain. Even though it probably wouldn't hurt Earth, it would teach us a lot about the universe. Pluto's weird orbit is interesting to space nerds and regular people. The debate slash disagreement about if it's a planet has made people think about space again. Tyson and Kaku's concerns remind us that there are big forces controlling everything out there. These forces are super important for understanding our solar system. Pluto's weird orbit and tilt don't fit with how we thought planets moved. Neptune and other planets help keep Pluto's orbit stable, but it's still hard to guess what will happen in the future. A crash between Pluto and Neptune seems unlikely, but it shows how delicate everything is in space. Studying Pluto can teach us things that will help us on future space trips. NASA sent a mission called New Horizons to Pluto in 2006. It got close in 2015 and sent back awesome pictures of Pluto's surface that include ice and frozen nitrogen. The findings helped us learn a lot about this distant world. New Horizons showed us how far we've come with space travel. By studying Pluto and its moons, we learned about all types of objects. This information will be very helpful for the upcoming generations of space missions to other dwarf planets. Calling Pluto a dwarf planet has made us rethink how we name things within our solar system. Studying Pluto's orbit can teach us about how things move in space, which is especially important as we go farther out. By exploring Pluto's interactions with Neptune and other celestial objects, we continue to expand our knowledge about the formation and development of planetary systems. Pluto's discovery has taught us a lot about how planets move and how the Kuiper Belt formed. Understanding Pluto's orbit gives us clues about the gravity back then. This information is good for future space missions and finding possible new planets. While a crash between Pluto and Neptune is super unlikely, studying them reminds us that the universe is always changing as we stretch the limits of space exploration. 
the study of planetary orbits and celestial mechanics will remain central to our exploration efforts. The study of Pluto's orbit not only presents answers for this distant world, but also aids us in predicting future trends in celestial behavior, improving knowledge of the forces that dictate our solar system and further. So, even though it probably won't happen, the possibility of Pluto and Neptune crashing shows us how wild space is. Studying Pluto's orbit, how it interacts with Neptune, and the gravity that is involved provide valuable insights into the happenings of space. As we keep learning about these distant objects, we get better at anticipating what might happen in space. There's no limit to what we could find. With better tech, we'll be able to learn even more about the universe. The exploration of Pluto's orbit and its relationship to the solar system will continue to influence our understanding of the cosmos for the many years to come. Pluto's orbit, the way it dances with Neptune, has been a source of fascination in the science community. Even though it's just a dwarf planet, Pluto still challenges our knowledge of how planets move. It's one unique planet-slash-object. What's really cool is that Pluto and Neptune are in sync. For every three laps Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune makes two. It's like they're doing a cosmic dance that keeps them from getting too close. They're locked in this pattern where their orbits are set up so they won't collide. The Neptune gravity on Pluto, and vice versa, keeps them both stable. It's an outstanding example of how balanced space can be. Without this rhythm, Pluto's orbit could have been thrown off, possibly leading to a crash or something else. Knowing this dynamic in space helps scientists understand how bodies maintain stability even when their courses seem extremely challenging at first glance. The Kuiper Belt, past Neptune, is packed with icy bodies and dwarf planets. Pluto is the biggest thing we know of in the belt, so its orbit tells us about the conditions way out there. These Kuiper Belt objects, also known as KBOs and Transneptunian objects, TNOs, are leftovers from the early solar system. Studying them lets us peek at what things were like when the solar system was forming. Space agencies like NASA are sending missions out there. NASA's New Horizons mission, which flew by Pluto in 2015, gave us awesome pics and info about Pluto's ground and air. The pictures uncovered frozen fields, big ice mountains, and odd weather, suggesting Pluto is still active. It also showed how different Pluto's moons are, giving us hints on how they form out in the solar system. If Pluto and Neptune crashed, it would be a huge deal for scientists. It could let us test ideas about the smallest parts of the universe under crazy conditions. The crash would make a ton of energy and might show us how tiny particles act when things get really wild, something that scientists are very interested in. Earth probably wouldn't get hit directly because we're far away, but the science we would learn would be amazing. It could open up new ways to understand the universe at its most basic level. Pluto's odd orbit still gets people excited, and the debate about whether it's a planet or not keeps it in the news. Tyson and Kaku's worries show us how tricky it is to figure out how things move in space. We need to understand gravity and how orbits work. These things are key to understanding how our solar system works and decide the fate of Pluto to be or not to be a planet. Pluto's orbit is different from the other planets, which usually go in circles. Pluto crosses Neptune's path. Gravity from Neptune and other planets helps keep Pluto's orbit steady. Even so, it's hard to guess what will happen to things in space way down the line. A Pluto-Neptune crash seems unlikely, but it shows us that things in the solar system are balanced on a knife edge. Studying Pluto can help us plan space trips to other places and learn how planets change over time. NASA sent a mission called New Horizons to Pluto in 2006, and it flew by in 2015. We got awesome pictures and learned that Pluto has water ice, frozen nitrogen, and other cool stuff. This helped us understand Pluto better. The New Horizons mission proved that we can do some serious exploration way out in our solar system. By looking at Pluto and its moons, scientists now know how diverse the solar system can be and the conditions that prevail way out there. This info will be super useful for future trips to distant dwarf planets and other objects, giving us a better idea of how planets are made and how they change. The discussion about Pluto as a dwarf planet has made us rethink how we define stuff in space. This reflects how science always changes the way we understand astronomy. Studying Pluto's orbit gives us important info about how things move in space.
By exploring Pluto's connections with Neptune, we keep learning more about how planetary systems form and grow. Pluto's story has taught us a lot about planetary motion and the Kuiper Belt, which is full of icy stuff past Neptune. Understanding Pluto's orbit gives us clues about the forces that shaped the early solar system. This is helpful for future space trips, especially when we look for places where life might exist outside our solar system. Even though a Pluto-Neptune crash is rare, studying these objects reminds us that the universe is always changing. Learning about planetary orbits will always be a big part of space exploration. Pluto's weird orbit teaches us how complicated planetary motion is and the forces that shape objects in space. Continuing to explore Pluto's orbit and how it interacts with Neptune reminds us that the universe is unpredictable. Every time we find something new or make a new prediction, we get a better picture of how the cosmos works. The study of Pluto not only gives us answers about that faraway dwarf planets, but also helps us guess what might happen with other things in space. This contributes a better view on forces surrounding the solar system and beyond. So, even though a crash between Pluto and Neptune probably won't happen, it shows us how active the universe really is. Studying Pluto's orbit, its connection to Neptune, and all the gravity stuff teaches us a lot about how things move in space. As we keep exploring, we'll get better at figuring out how our solar system works and making smart guesses about space events. There's no limit to what we might find. And as technology gets better, we'll be able to study and understand the universe even more. Exploring Pluto's orbit will keep shaping how we grasp the universe for many years. Pluto's orbit and its thing with Neptune has always been interesting to scientists. Even though it's just a dwarf planet, Pluto makes us rethink how planets move. The fact that Pluto's orbit crosses Neptune's but doesn't crash highlights the complicated nature of gravity in our solar system. One cool thing is that Pluto's orbit is in sync with Neptune's, what's called a 3 colon 2 orbital resonance, meaning that for every three loops Pluto completes around the Sun, Neptune does too. This careful harmony makes sure they never get too close, even though their paths overlap. They're locked in a cosmic dance where their orbits are set so that they'll never collide. It's a great example of the fine-tuning and balance in space. Neptune's gravity keeps both Pluto and Neptune on track. Without this, Pluto's orbit could have been messed up, maybe leading to a crash. Also, the Kuiper belt beyond Neptune is full of icy objects. Pluto is the biggest thing we know of in that belt, and its orbit tells us a lot about the conditions out there. These objects are leftovers from when the solar system was forming, and studying them lets us see what things were like billions of years ago. Space agencies like NASA are point missions that way. NASA's New Horizons mission showed us amazing stuff about Pluto's surface and air. We saw frozen plains, ice mountains, and even weather, which means Pluto is an active world. We also saw the diversity of Pluto's moons, giving us clues about how moons form. The New Horizons mission also proved that we're getting better at space exploration. These missions not only increase our knowledge of objects like Pluto, but also set the stage for more trips into the Kuiper Belt. Even though Pluto's orbit seems stable, its weird shape and angle also make us wonder about the solar system in the long run. The fact that Pluto's orbit is so different from the other planets is a fascinating puzzle for astronomers. It shows us that our solar system is not as orderly as we might think.